Hey everyone, welcome to Path to Nowhere. We're going to be discussing the build for Serpent, how you're going to be playing her and all those things. Starting off with her skill priority. So first and foremost, um, what makes her good? She is going to be good, number one, with her basic attack. Um, she's going to be doing a lot of that. Also, she's going to be needing thermal effect um, in widening her attack area. And also, Ophidian Domination is going to also be important to her because this gives her a lot of damage once you trigger thermal effect for six times. So, what are we going to prioritize for her? Okay, so to start off, um, number one for me is going to be thermal effect because you be, you're going to be widening her range and um, you're going, actually it's already wide. It's only the normal attack bonus that is going to be increased. Okay, because of thermal effect. It's already wide. You just have to increase the bonus. Next, um, on the list is going to be Ophidian Domination. Okay, so Ophidian Domination is going to be valuable, especially on placements wherein she is going to deal magic damage to all enemies within range. And um, the skill is going to be... Um, the skills on each speed is affected by attack speed as well. So, in that regard, you need to make sure that she has good attack speed. So, again, first would be Thermal Effect. Second would be Ophidian Domination. Your third would be your Serpent Constriction. I mentioned that basic attack is going to be um uh, is going to be valuable for her as well but you also need to level up this because of the attack um increase that this also gives um as far as her basic attack the increase is is actually um it's actually good to start, even at level 3. Probably if you could take this one up to level 6, I think you'd be good. It's an increment of at least, um, I think it's 7 per increase or per level. So I'm going to be dialing back to the priorities. First is Thermal Effect to increase the damage for Thermal Effect. Next is also Ophidian Domination, also to increase the damage of the skill. These are all damage increases. So fr from my standpoint, um, you are actually gaining a lot. At, at this point, it's, it's really a toss up between the four. It's a close level up. Um, the priorities, uh, the, the differences are going to be slim between these four. But again, there should be priority. So thermal effect. Ophelian Domination, Serpent, Constriction, and Blade of Fang would be the last one. Because um, this one, you can actually upgrade this in other, you know, in other aspects like your Crime Brand. So again, the, 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 the attack is the last one. Okay, I hope you got that, guys. Um, next up is going to be her Crime Brand. So speaking of Crime Brand... Um, this is the, the, what they call it, the most optimum for her. It's going to be, uh, dream, uh, dream one, two, and three, because this, this boosts her normal attack damage by 15%. As I've said, um, you can leave out the, 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 the basic attack as last to upgrade because you will have this anyway to augment or to improve on her basic attacks or normal attack damage plus 15%. Then you level up the attack here. Then you also increase it here as well. So that is what that is the reason why you can leave normal attack um, skill to the last to be upgraded. Um, if you're not inclined to use this, this is an optimal. If you're not inclined to use it, you may also use this one this set so glory 
glory is uh, increase in magic damage. This applies to all of the skills. This one, however, the e the dream um, one, two, and three applies only to um, normal attack damage. Um, be careful of using this one, glory one, two, three, because take note, serpent will be in the front line, so she might not be able to withstand um, additional damage because the 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 damage she's gonna be receiving is going to be add uh, ha is going to have an add on of twenty five percent. So uh, glory is secondary, primary is a side dream. Okay, so moving on to our next. Okay, so for um, Serpent's uh, deployment role, she is your kind of your off, you know, your off defender DPS. If you have defender on her side, she's going to be attacking the one that defender is going to be blocking. Or if, uh, let's say, for example, you place her here, the one that's passing on the top row and the bottom row, she can could attack very you know if efficiently. So let us just um, change some of these. Okay, so that uh, we can let's uh, proceed with more melee. Do I have more melee here? Here, here we go. So let's proceed with more melee here. And I'll show you. Actually, I, I did a demo already, a demo video for Serpent Skill. As you can see there, um, top row, which is this angle, she can already attack. Especially if she doesn't have anybody in the front. So again, it really, really plays out to the angles that she can attack with, even at the back. So again, uh, the skill is very useful to clear out uh, what's in front of her um, on top of her beside uh, on top below her and on her back so let's do core break there you go so for core break um, it's gonna be all areas that she has for her ultimate that um, can that, that she can do core break so again she's a very fun character to use um, I'm actually inclined to using her versus um, what do you call this? Versus um, who's this girl? Forgot her name. Um, I'm inclined to use her. Versus that's not Zoya. So anyway, I'm I'm inclined to use her more as a core breaker moving forward. Um, trying to. Take her beyond level 70 if I can. Um, I'm actually trying to, you know, to uh, e escalate to level 70 Langley. But at this point, I'm actually inclined to developing her and trying out if she can. She's actually as strong as she seems. So for now, her attack speed is nice, and the damage that she brings is also nice. So definitely can, you know, we can, you, you can really bring her to any battle. So, I, sorry, I forgot. This is Bai. So, can't move. Then I lost. <laughs> anyway, um, this is just a demo of her skills. So as you can see there... Placement is really critical for her and um, she should do wonders for your team if you place her well and also move her well. Okay, moving on to the next one. Okay, so for Serpent's uh, Shackle level, what is important is actually number one, firstly, because after using Serpent Constriction, which is... Uh, Serpent Constriction is her ultimate. So once she does her ultimate or brilliant appearance, which is actually in her crime brand here, she is going to be, uh, what they call this? She is going to improve on her attack speed bonus for 12 seconds, which is going to be important for her. Um, attack speed is going to be key for her. I think she does really have big damage coupled with attack speed. 
she's going to be, uh, I think, good and kind of versatile, if you ask me. So, number one is important for Shackles. The next one is going to be attack speed. So, at least if you go to up to two, I think she's going to be good. So, you know, if, if you could go over four, even better. But one and two are most important for her to start. Okay, um... Let's move on to phase three. So are you going to is it is it good to phase three this girl? So for her um exclusive crime brand, so she will be generate starry theater within range for 20 seconds. Movement speed of enemies within uh starry theater decreases by 40. So she you could actually slow down hordes of enemies going your way and they gain one fang mark for every two seconds serpent gains 10 percent attack bonus when 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 within starry theater and can only be used one every battle so you have to be precise in where you can or when can you use this skill and usually it's more on you know the the most uh, you know the most enemies that are flocking to your area that you could use this so at this point, I'm inclined to say yes. This is very important. And this gives her additional attack bonus. And she is going to be worth it for phase 3. I think she's going to be decent. She's going to be decent. She's going, she's going to be fun to, to play with. And if you build her right, she could be very versatile in terms of clearing um, rows. In, in terms of attacking multiple rows. So that is it, guys. That is my final, more or less, assessment on Serpent. And I'm actually happy. I'm going to try to take her to Phase 3 in the next few days. Hopefully, I could do more testing for her. But I'm excited to use her and moving forward. So, thank you guys for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden. And I'm out of here.